Jarang nyilo domo roka diasen. Boy, jano sikes restoran. Eh, saya nak kau beli nak dimbal. Nimba domo roka la jano. Domo roka seniata, adiata, topo toro fana kenda ma bige. Luntan during, tamala, abeka domo roka jani. Adi manda wala de. Teka we bige le, anim fana kafa di jang ikono efa. Eka apa minna kau pastry anim bakery. Iko fana beka le. Bad day lomba, conference lomba, workshop lomba, ye four fendi lom dunia kono. Domoro better ma, ni lom international hotel wada number one. Amangke bad domoro janda man. Esa domoro jang is ataria. Ah, wamu kubandi. Ah, sana na kubu. Sana futendi. Eh, oto sana na kubu be musikas restaurant. Ndaba na janda mu yad ni manje jorombi jam. Aban. Musikas restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes, but don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Seaview Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as tarots, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments. We are first in properties.
solicitors a legal excellence firm in london that can help you with all aspects of your legal work if you are looking at immigrating to the united kingdom stewart and co can help you to set up business buy houses in the uk and will deal with all your legal works from start to finish for all your general immigration work we can help you with that as well if you apply for any form of visa where the student visas settlement visas marriage visas or a child wanting to come to the United Kingdom to settle with the family, we can help you to achieve your goals. Stewart and Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm specializing in conveyancing, immigration, litigation, family law, personal injury, licensing, no win, no fee. Contact us today at www.sk-solicitors.com. Thank you, Chairman. Lord God, Jehovah, we come again under your throne of grace, of mercy, of love, and of divine compassion as a people that you have created in your image and in your likeness. We continue to submit ourselves under you. Continue to pray that by your divine grace that you shall assist each and every one of us to be true to our conscience, true to our fellow human being, and above all, true to you, who is the ultimate judge of all mankind. 
We continue to submit the sittings of the TRRC under you. We submit all the witnesses that will testify in this commission. But by Holy Ghost power, you shall grant them the boldness and the direction to speak the truth, and only the truth, and grant the commission the design in spirit to design between truth and falsehood, and grant the population, all those that are in the diaspora, the patience to see through the right way that all things will be done in a just manner for the good and all people in this land. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Amen, Bishop Rodeco. Uh, Councillor, are we ready with this morning's witness? If so, please proceed. Uh, Mr. Chair, we would need uh, two minutes uh, to witness here. Apparently, he was uh, with victim support unit, so he should be in maybe in a minute or two. And uh, do we need any arrangements in regarding interpretation? So we can not have was, any delay. That was already sorted out in the morning. That's good. Uh, I believe we would have it in Wolof uh, and in English. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, the witness is being ushered in. Thank you. I, Dr. Tamsirmbo. I, Dr. Tamsirmbo. Do swear. Do swear that I'll speak the truth. I'll speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Good morning, Dr. Mbou. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the TRRC. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> before you uh, start your testimony, Dr. Mbou, um, I am to remind you that you have just taken an oath. And uh, 
It is a criminal offense in the laws of this country to lie under oath. It is also an offense under the laws of the TRRC to provide false or misleading information. Are you aware of that? Yes. Uh, uh, ca interpretation in Wolof, please. Uh, Dr. Mbo, we would have interpretation in Wolof. So you should, uh, you and I should allow for that interpretation to take place before we, we speak. Uh, we should also allow for at least three seconds in between speeches so that the speeches would not overlap. Um, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Dr. Mo, uh, what are your full names? Louis Satu Access Center, Dr. Mo. My full name is Tamsir Mbo. Mangi Tuda Tamsir Mbo. Date of birth? 9th February 1964. Mangi Judo Jerome Nien Tifan, February 1964. Could you kindly give us uh, a brief rundown of your educational background? Mungo Nyowa, Chilu Gatarek, Sa Njanga, Fingadore Befam M. Attended Methodist Primary School. Mangi Jange Methodist Primary School. 1969 to 1975. 1969 by 1975. Then went to Muslim High School. Then Muslim High School. From 1975 to 1982. 1975 to 1982. Did my O levels? My O levels. Then went to do my A levels at Gambia High School from 1982 to 1984. Ma egalena dem de fili nyo wa e levels digan te 1982 be 1984 Gamba High School. In 1985, I went to the University of Ileife to start my medical program. In 1985, nag madem ki University of Ileife for yanga fanak sumambiri doctor. Where is Ileife? Ileife for Nigeria. Nigeria la Ileife neka. Proceed. Continue. In 1985, I left Ileife for the Soviet Union to complete my medical program. Ganavena kila fabaye kodem Soviet Union for e galifanak suma wali njangum fajum doctor. Where exactly in the Soviet Union? From the uh, uh, Soviet Union. That was the then, uh, that was the then Soviet Union, Ukraine. The town. German Georgia Soviet Union, the Kabanyova Ukraine. Which university? Bali University. Lugans Medical. Lugans Medical. Then in 1994, after completing my first diploma in medicine. 1994, I went to Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Ghana. Madam Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Chariwi Ghana. I spent two years there in Ghana. Made fanyari at Ghana. Then in 1996. Atum 1996. I went to the University of Dublin, Ireland, to do to complete my postgrad program in Opsen Gaini. Madam University bu Dublin, cha Ireland, purje halipanak sumawali nyangi. After, com after uh, completing uh, my. Mr. Mo, allow him. Uh, Allow her to complete the interpretation. After completing my postgrad diploma in 1998, I returned back home. 1998, Then I was working with Royal Victoria Hospital. Yeah. Uh, let's have a good idea as to your academic qualifications. What is the specific name 
of your degrees or your diplomas. Chaque degree and diploma yan façon tour lañ am lañ am. That's the first diploma is the MD in medicine. Uh bi ma ndeka am moy bi ñu wax di MD ci walu facc. MD in medicine. Then the postgrad diploma that is diploma in ops and gyne. E benen bi na bi mo jexale ma dal li def benen diploma bi nga xamne mu nga wax And by Opsen Gynae, you mean obstetrics, obstetrics and, and gynecology. gynecology. Wow, obstetrics and, and gynecology. Then, and then I had my LM, that is licensed medical practitioner to deliver. The LM. When did you complete uh, your education? Up to now, I think I'm learning. Uh, when did you complete your University formal University education, University. formal university formal. education? 1998. Exactly, that was 19. University of Dublin. Yes. 1998, yeah. University of Dublin. And uh, you returned to Gambia that same year? That same year. When I Gambia. Yes. And you went to work at the RVTH. Nga continue dem liggey ci RVTH. Wow. By then it was RVH. What? There was no there at the hospital. Jamano bobu RVH rek la won nekuton RVTH. Thanks for that qualification. For some of us really the difference doesn't matter, but I see that for doctors it it really matters whether it's a teaching hospital or it's just a hospital. Jerejef ci setal bobu parce que ñun xam setlu be tawa yam bi time bobu ndax da fa jangale wa ndax faj rek la tawé ñun time bobu suñu xel demuton ci lolu. And since then uh, when you joined RVTH excuse me uh, which department of RVTH did you go to work? Diplo Boba Bangar Dore liggey ci l'hôpital bu mag bi RVH ban fanna nga nekkon di liggey Opsan Gayne eh ci fanna bi ñoo Opsan Gayne ñi nga xamne ñoo say tu mbir jigen ni and uh, apart from your stint at the PATP uh, would you say that all your work as a medical doctor uh, focus on Opsan Gayne gannaaw waxtu bi nga def ci PATP bi sa liggey bi yeb li nga def bena fana bobu la nek ops and gyne fana bobu rek nga nek di liggey no no did it did you tell us please wax ñu i was also doing general medicine uh, ma ngi don def mbiri facc bo xamne nak yeb la umba uh, where did you do that fan nga defel lu and in my own clinic ci l'hopital bu mag bo ci banjul ak man ci suma bop ak clinic bo xamne ma ko bon because after your md in medicine you are a general practitioner ndax te gannaaw bo amé ma xam bi ñoo wax md ci walu fajum doctor su booba nak mën nga bu def boole facc yeb di ko def and would you say that your specialization is obstetrics and gynecology yes la di nga wax ne sa xam xam diga diga fim taxaw moy ops and gynec ci sa liggey bi wow and in that specialization how far have you gone in terms of academic achievement chef ci xam xam bobu ak liggey bi nga doon di def nonu fan nga dem ba m wala fan nga tollu ci liggey bi nga xamne moy ops and gyne ci sa liggey bi no after my post grad diploma i came to practice clinical medicine e ganaaw bu ma graduate na ba am suma diploma dama ñew na di liggey ci walu facc bo xamne li bari la umba uh we've been informed that even in the practice of medicine especially in a major hospital there are levels that one has to go through at such levels without in, without recognizing any order of seniority you would have registrars consultants fellows and things like that is, is, is that is that the case ci xam xam biñ fi am ci liggeyam fajj eh so nekke ci bunta bobu ah dega nañ ne so liggey dafa am ay makhama ay makhama ya fa nek melni registre fellows ak yenen yu deme nonu eh dafa am ay ay place yi nga xamne eh dañ am ci bir njang ci bir fajmi so dañ bëgg xam ci place yoyu eh fan nga ci dem be tollu 
Normally, <coughs> in a general hospital, Nimde if it is not a teaching hospital, normally you have those ranks in, the, in a teaching hospital. Uh, RVH was not by then a teaching hospital. Uh, we are either a consultant or a medical officer. Nimde Faral did the main Lopitan in the Hamne, then Fajangale Miri Fetch, a Lulu for Fula de Faral de Heve. Why German Bubuna, Lopitan to Magbichi Banjul, Kumasa would want the Bole Fetbi at Jangalebi. But obviously, eventually, RVH became RVTH. Why Ganabulu Yepasi? RVH, we were to come when you neck RVTH. So it became a teaching hospital. So Chilan neck a lopital boham ne danyo fight be pare di jangale. What position did you hold in this structure? Chi miri miri ninte hawe one, ban te hawa inga ame one chi bunti RVTH bifufu. By then I was the chief medical director. Jama no bobo my one chief medical director. But even at that. The chief medical director position is an appointed position, isn't it? Siko Lulu, sir, been the chief medical director. Palace labo ham ne deng latana pro def la chipasa palace bo. Ndadu Lulu. But the other levels, like registrar, consultant, fellow, those are levels you attain by reason of academic achievement, isn't it? Why you la palace you mean registrar, fellow, akide me Lulu yoyu. Ham ham binga am chim bunti lige kai bi chim fai lulu mahama bi mo ham ham bi mo la agale chim palas yoyo. That is very true. Lulu de gala. I I just want to measure your standing in relation to the highest level, which is fellow, I believe. The mabugo na nata sata Hawaii ag digante palas binyo oy fellow linga ham ne mo gena koe na dunono. I'm not a fellow. In any fellow, normally uh, you are part of an organization, sort of, for example, Fellow of the West African College of Surgeons. How, how about that of physicians? Well, I'm not a physicians. No, a physician is, a, is just a general practitioner, a, pra, a, a physician. You have a physician and, and then you have the surgeons. I, I, I understand, but there is also an association of physicians. That is the West African <laughs> Association. You have, the, you have different organizations. Russia, they have their own system. Gambia, they have their own system. America, they have their own system. These are all old titles. And been members. Dafa de Sirio me iri buchi barirek dafa amni mo dohe Russia amna ay dohe nam Gambia am dohe nam America am dohe nam. For example, I can be a consultant at Serakunda Hospital, whilst I'm a medical officer at RVTH. Kom chimi salrek muna neka chima hama binyo wa consultant chilopetani Serakunda feka nak chia banjul mangfadon lenen. But what I'm driving at specifically is that these are professional bodies, memberships to which would lend further credibility to one's qualification. the <laughs> The fan neck a yokute, chio, chisambiri ham ham, actisal yebi, lebo ham no more jublu, more jublu chimbiri fight. So Lul Fumnekani Fufula top of the Maham Fimunatolo. I think that's a mistake because to measure what one knows in medicine does not depend on being a, having a fellowship or being a registrar or being a consultant. Ya karna lo lo mo mjum te burela nda pur muna nata ma ha ma net ki fim tolu chu wale fajum doktor ne kur ne dafa wara ne ka fellow wala consultant wala registra. You are absolutely right Dr. Mbou in that but that is not what I am trying to do. What I am suggesting is that membership in those professional bodies would lend further credibility or would further strengthen one standing in the profession, does it? What I Doctor, why Lima stop a moi? Brunne Kachimbota you magu you. 
da fla gëna may doole ubi la bunta pour sama xama bi nga am mu gëna yoxu ci liggey bo xamné euh lolu ngay def ci li 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 andak liggey yoyu mu ngi melni da fla gëna yokal doole ci sa liggey bi ci li nga bokk ci mbotaay yoyu parce que mbotaay yu mag lañ ño xamné euh ñu ngi taxaw i don't think so because some they will prefer after they are forced to degrees to go in for clinical medicine and have clinical experience that they will go in for academic achievements having the certificates so uh, i don't see any difference yes ma da to measure the level of what knows in medicine based on that yes ma da outé bi ndax ñen nañ dinañ bugga rek bu fekké né jéxal nañ sen ñanga rek ñu continuer dem di liggéey liggéey docteur ci clinique the most important thing in medicine is a, is about your clinical experience what you can do and not the amount of certificates you have li gëna am solo nak ci walli fajj moy sa xam xam ak sa mun mun li nga xamne mom nga mëna def waye nekkul ay kayit yo xamne dang ko dajale ñu ay certificate sorry i have seen professors who cannot even perform simple surgical procedures am gis na ay borom xam xam yo xamne opéré bu ndaw sax mënu ñu ko def i i agree with all that and it's the same in every profession but we also have to recognize that the professional certification itself uh, is a stamp of uh, uh, of credibility is a is a stand of standing and uh, wouldn't you agree with that no li yeb eh degala way nak eh pour ngiri keyt yoyu lolu yeb mandal gala pour woné eh keyt yoyu nga dajali lolu ma xamala mom ci bopam ci liggey bi nga def nonu so dafa nek mandarga li woné yow sa taxaway sa xam xam ak sa man man i don't believe in that because my own professor used to tell me that doc the best thing if you want to be a good medical doctor is go in for clinical and forget about these paper things man nak andu ma ci lolu ndax te kima dan jangal dan na ma wax ne so buge don docteur bu mon li nga def da ngay faté bir keyit yi nga jub lu ci liggey bi ci bopam niñ ko muné ak niñ ko def well by extension you could have forgotten about the md certificate and just be a trainee medical doctor and become a doctor as they used to do it before in the legal profession you did not have to go to law school to become a lawyer but okay. ultimately there has to be a standard test which would be uh, the measure to determine one's standing and to place you at a particular level otherwise it would all be chaotic in society you disagree, you disagree with that too yes i disagree li ma wax fu mek ni moy eh li lu am solo la mu nga faté certificat yoyu tamit sax pour nga janga rek pour li nga liggéey li ni ko défé ni ko mané nga topa lolu rek waye nak fok na li tam lu am solo la pour nga am ay kayit yo xamné moy woné sa xam xam sa taxaway ak sa man man ci liggéey bo xamné janga nga ndax nga and lu ci lolu i don't because in matin and matin that one i know once you have your first degree you can challenge any other person It depends on what you know and not machine. the amount of certificates or the the different universities you ndax ci walu fajum doctor so jexale sa maxama bu ñik bi rek mën nga commencer sa liggeyum doctor ci ni ko mune nekku ne da nga tok rek di dajale ay kayit doctor mo obviously you left ife to go to lugans and i am certain that you made the choice because of quality you wanted to attain higher quality isn't that the case uh, no. doctor joge nga ife nga dem lugan te so gise nga def lu dama 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 fog ne da nga bugga am ma xama bu gëna koé bo xamné mo la gëna dolel ci sa liggéey mi i know i would have said in kolebu because the practical experience i gain in kolebu i never got that in Dublin when I was in my post grad man suma ko xamone sax dama dess ci fa ñoo wax kolé bu ndax te li nga xamne mom xam xam ak lima jangé ci kolé bi awma ko ci dooban and why you got all the all the other stuff i can read it on my own so what was the need wasting time to go for a diploma 
yene ni hi def yep munon nako jang ci téré yi jangal ko suma bop jëlé fa xam xam docteur mo isn't it the case that you believe you got better quality at uh, kolegu as you call it in ghana docteur hana li nekku lo xamné euh tahay am kolegu euh fi nga demone janga ndax tahaway bobu euh tahaway bu kolé la ci mbiri liggéey bi ndax du non that is the practical experience the clinical experience lolu moy skills lolu moy liggéey bi ni nga xamné nonu nga ko défé am xam xam ci walli ay opéré but by extension let me let me just complete please and then you will find out that most of my clinical experience even no, my my surgical skills what i was taught separately different from the normal routine system you pass through because it depends on your relationship with your lecturers di nga gis na sax man xam xam bi nga xamne amna ko ci walli fajj ci walli opéré dafa outé ak anam yi nga xamne fofu lañ ko dé jaaré ci walli ñang dafa dess nak ci kila jangal docteur mbo if we go by your logic docteur mbo su topé yow yoon bi nga wané ni there would not have been the need to leave muslim high school kon go to gambia high school kon amuto soxla pour nga bay muslim high school dem gambia high school and equally there won't be any need to leave gambia high school to go to ife kon nak am jaruton tamit nga bay gambia high school dem ife these professional bodies is just another layer to add to the accreditation of uh, of of the education that you have received and we have to accept that as a fact bunta yoyu yeb ay bunta la yo xamne bunti yokute la ci xam xam ak eh man man bi nga wa soxla ci pour li nga mëna def ci sa liggey bi te lolu yeb ta fla yo kam xam ndax du lolu i think is different when well, it comes to medicine this is my area medicine itself but i think i think the most important thing is in medicine is your fourth degree uh uti na de ndax man ci walli fajjan i don't know of all well, else for others it is your specialization well for you and me li nga xamne mom nga janga be mu be nga be nga setal ko bu baax be nga am ci taxaway fourth degree is just the foundation the specialization perhaps would be most important would it it degree bu ñeka be moy reen yi nga wara taxawé let me tell you something in medicine i have seen doctors who only had their fourth degrees but they are better surgeons than who specialize that may very well be true and it's not unique to medicine it's in every other field lolu muna nek dega te amut lolu amut won ci mbiri faj rek de lolu muna am ci yenen fana janga but that would not be the norm would it way lolu du nek lo xamne mo war ndax du nonu the higher your qualifications the higher the more specialized you are the more likely it is that you will be more effective and more efficient more likely sa xam xam sa xam xam nim gëna ko wé sa man man bi non la mo gëna ko wé ndax lolu mom mo la gëna yo ka taxaway bi ci liggéey bi nga def pour sa mbir mi gëna dem ko ndax du non Let me just give you an example. For example, University of the Gambia, you can be a professor here. If you go to Lugans Medical, you might be only a registrar. You will be called a registrar. It's just a title. Halal ma jox la misal. Mu ngi melni University of Gambia. Eh mun nga fe nek professor waye nga dem ci benen university ñu ko wax Lugans yu mel nonu fofu mom registrar rek nga fa mëna doon. That in fact reinforces my point. It's all about quality. Lolu yeb mu gey gëna dolel fi ma taxaw parce que li yeb pour liggey bi ak xam xam bi num am gëna amé barké if if in in Gambia uh, one is the only person with knowledge in one particular area yes you would be the top guru but if you go to the top universities in the world uh, you may not be even up to scratch 
fi gambia su feke ne yoke na ne rek am xam xam bo xamne xam xam bi yoke na ko mun yag yoke yoke na ko am legi ci bir rew mi fi mun nga nek ku gëna ko we waye bo deme ci yenen bunta ci biti sa xam xam bo mun na nek ne ku ndaw ngay nek te sa place bi dafa gëna waccha ñene ñi ñu la gëna ko we no i don't agree to that because maybe you are a professor here you know more than the guy they call in a registrar there dede lolu andu ma ci mun nga nek professeur fi way hit na yaay gi nam mun wala gi na am xam xam kanyo boy fele registrar the only way there can be agreement in these different issues is when there is standardization and accreditation based on particular standards and that is what these professional bodies do it it's all these other different views and once you attain this standard it is the gold standard you have you still disagree with that well mbir mbir mi lila si fekke ne eh 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 ma xama yoyu yeb yeng lim ni eh yakar na ne gën ci am taxaway xam xam bu gëna ko we moy woné sa man man ak sa ma xama fim tolu ci yoyu te lolu dafa nek lo xamne lena la li la gëna yobbu ci ko ci xam xam bi ak ci man man bi liggey bi nga def let me give you an example for example ara ma def la misal am not a professor in opsan gaani man nekuma professor ci fanna bi ñoo opsan gaani but i don't fear any professor when it comes to surgical operations in opsan gaani waye nak ragaluma ben professor ci wali opare bo xamne dañ ko def jigen some of these surgical procedures and they are called professors or consultants or any other name to you ray yu ñu leena o yena ay professor ay consultant ak yeneeni to of course i do agree with that digala lolu nanguna ci Uh, if you ask me i would also want to believe the same about myself so malaje man tam mun na gom pour sumo bo ba man tam ci taway bo but it does not necessarily make it a fact that i am the best lawyer in the world way lolu nak mu ta nek ne man ma gëna man ma gën ma da xalo ya yeb ci adina si but but let's leave this point way lañ bay fan na let us let it not detain us lolu bu mu taxawal ben ap the fact of the matter is i'm very let me finish sir. the fact of the matter is there are still higher positions that your practice can attain li you agree with that li ma wax ni moy de amna ay ma xama yo xamne yu gëna ko we yo xamne ye yo mun nga topa yoyu be ega ci place yoyu place yoyu ñu fa betay ndax du lolu for example let me just give you answer the question please The question is would you agree that there are still higher levels that you can still attain Lima laaj moy amna ay maxama yu gëna ko we yo xamne ben tay yo mun nga fexé be egg ci maxama yoyu ci taxaway bi nga nek ni tay ndax I strongly agree with you that's why I told you that I'm still learning Lolu mom anda na ci lolu ta bi ñoo commencé mané la man day bet tay ma ngay janga So the whole debate was in fact that there is a scope or recognize scopes or positions above your current position so waxtan bi moy won amna ay maxama ay place yo xamne ben tay ñu ngi gëna koowe yow fi nga nek ni ci place bi legi ni tay you agree with that too nda na ngi one point i want to emphasize but do you agree with that point? i ndax na ngi lu good wa nanguna i want to emphasize one point here amna luma bu ko degeral fi no single doctor amu ben doktor bo xamne mo ci adina claim to be an authority in medicine ko xamne mom dina woné né mo gëna kowé ci walli fajj can claim to be an authority in a particular area of practice yes am amu ben doktor bo xamne mu na wax né mom mo gëna man ñepp ci euh euh mbirum fajj waye euh xana mu nek ben bo xamne ben yoon pou taxaw taxawal bopam and it is precisely for that reason why you have areas of specialization do lu motax nak nga am ay fan 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 ay nga xamne mu nga janga be sa man man bi aga fim fim wara aga you agree with that i strongly agree with that wa lu mom andana ci and it is also uh for that reason you have professional bodies 
uh, that offer certifications for the various areas of practice. I think we're going back again. Yes, we we now we we now situating yeah. because in medicine you have different schools of thoughts. You have the Russian school of thought, you have the American school of thought, you have the West African school of thought, you even have the Gambian school of thought. I am, not, I am not talking about schools of thought. I am talking about certification for areas, for areas of specialization. The reason why I'm saying this, for example, if you are a member of the West African College of Surgeons. So you say, my wahli, Timisal, Bufekeri, Angi Boka, Chimbota, Ibenyo, West African College of Surgeons. If you go to Russia, you cannot even practice as a medical officer. So they may carry with Russia, do for Muna Dessa, Ligi, if I am doctor. Because you have to. Sit for their exams. But, but that is normal. No. I am a lawyer in Gambia. I cannot just go to England and practice. So, no, 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 a, no, I'm because of the peculiarities and also the protectionism that every professional body would place in its own country. But mm -hmm. that takes us further away from the point. Okay. Let's agree that with your standing now in the practice of medicine, there are certain levels above your current position, correct? Regardless of how proficient or experienced or skilled you are in your area of practice. I will not agree with that. <coughs> the okay. reason being, the reason being, let me explain myself. The reason being, presently, I'm not trying to praise myself or to say that I'm a good option guy in a doctor, but I don't think there is any surgical guy in a procedure that I may need to consult someone. Uh, and, and Dr. we celebrate that because all of us want to see uh, highly competent Gambians in every field. No, that is far from the point that we are talking about. Dr. Moulin, you know, 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 you My point is, if your standing is one of consultant, so, all right, there are still higher levels. If you are a consultant, you are a consultant. Whether you respect, respect them as, as, as uh, levels you would wish to attain or not, these, these are still positions or standing that are higher. The fathers, nah, yo, Buganga, Ega Fufusa, Sabagabaga, Sabugabuga, while a while leap I plus la yo hamne, then coe, Gena neka yuko, yo hamne, you get a coe, a plus yo hamne, am the Niko am in Tibente in Gale. You see why I'm arguing this point? Because I felt into that trap so once in my uh, medical practice at RV. So you say, my wahli, musna, churuk nak ki mal mumu, jamona jinga hamne mang don ligay ki raptan do mabbi ki banjo. I could remember when I came back in 98. Mange fatale ko bima delu suwati chiriyo me atum 1998. 
Because none of them knew me by then. The first day I took the call to be the doctor on call. I could remember then the head of Opson Gaini, the unit. Told me that today you are on call. But your consultant, why King Hamne Moisa consultant? He called, he told me the name of the that individual. Luckily for me, <coughs> that day I, I had three operations. So after doing the operations without consulting the so-called consultant because to me he was not my consultant the following morning it was a big fight whether i should have done the operations or i should have called the consultant the so-called Dr. Mbo, are you one of those individuals who are averse to establish order? Dr. Mbo, can I ask you a question? No. Uh, did, did you look down upon the person's abilities? No. No. Or you have an overblated expectation of your own abilities? No. Okay, uh, let's just move on from this topic. Because for as far as I'm concerned, we've established that uh, your level, as you called it, was that of consultant. And, and I just wanted to establish whether you had gone beyond that level and whether you have done all the steps needed uh, to attain the highest level of specialization certification like fellowship in ops and guide or things like that but that's not the case mm. so let's move on nine them nine them to canon down uh, between uh, 2004 is that the case? Diga 2004, 2007, some mahama be egne chiko be nga ega palas bo hamne momla nyo oye minister of health, mo minister busai tu walu fach sirumu. Yes, I was the health minister between 2004 to 2007. Wow, man my own minister busai tu walu wer guiram gidi gan te 2004 be 2007. And in January 2007, some seminal event took place in this country. very January 2007, In order to gain time, I would not show you a video of this event. But I am sure we would both agree that this event took place. Former President Yaya Jame, President Yaya Jame announced that he had found a cure for HIV AIDS. Is that true? Did that event took place? Yes, that was on the 17th of January, 2007. And he said that he received a mandate from God to create the cure from seven herbs mentioned in the Quran. Pro dinamuna fight, fever bobu, si fekene, 
bolena ay xobi garab yo xamne dem nañ ba jirom ñaar he didn't tell me that he told me that he had the herbs but that he had he, he had the herbs waxut ma lolu de waye waxon na ma ne potency waxon na ma ne amna ay reen ak xop yo xamne munna to eliminate the hiv aids virus that is what he told me personally munna dax li nga xamne modi jangoro hiv aids i think it is important that we uh, get the language right for na amna solo pour ñu wax kaddu yi nim nimu waré nim gëna djubé ak nim waré um the public record reveals that jamé said he has the cure for hiv aids in fact he said and i quote mine is not an argument mine is proof it is a declaration i can cure aids and i will wax bi mu waxon nonu moy bi mo digle ne mom amna garab bi dafa wax ne mom bosam nekut mbiri wahi len wala wirante waye mom amna garab bo xamne dina wéral febari hiv aids mom non la ko wane won what he told me was that he had the medical herbs man limma wax moy amna ay xobaki reen yo xamne dafa fajj that have the potency te lo garab yoyu munon na amna dole pour fajj okay hiv aids viral li nga xamne modi jomi jangor hiv aids that has the potency to what to cure or eliminate the because he normally use those terms cure and eliminate but i'll explain to you if you want to the difference between the cure the and to eliminate mom kaddu yim dan wax moy dina wiral wala dina daxa doomi jangoro ji dem set wecc eh ñaari kaddu yoy mom la dan jeffu bo buggé nak mën na la ko leral for now i will settle for an agreement on the terms used dante man tam dina nangu ci kaddu yoy mu wax nonu dina ci nangu that used to he used to use two terms i will eliminate the virus i will cure the virus ñaari kaddu yoy la daan wax ne doomi jangoro ji dina ko dax bem set benen bi tam mune dina facc bem wer and uh, i would accept that he used those two terms dina, and dina nangu ne ñaari kaddu yoy la doon ni wax and our inquiry ci suñu gis gis bi ci suñu gis gastu bi of what eventually happened would be based on this premise li mu je xew ba ñu gis ko ci yow yu la wëru we would base it on this premise did he cure hiv aids did he eliminate the virus nda fajj na febar bi bem wër wala dax na doomi jangoro bi ci nit ñi bem wër he eliminated the hiv virus eh gën ni na dem set wëcc ci yaram mi nit ki li nga xamne mo di doomi jangoro hiv aids virus tayit wéral na li nga xamne moy doomi jangor hiv aids you in fact reinforced the position that i just said our inquiry would be anchored on that premise you just made on that proposition you just made fum neka e deugeral nga man suma kaddu ma doon di wax comme ni ng ko waxe nonu mo gëna dolel wax bi ni mako téralé nonu you are you are highly welcome thank you uh, in fact Uh, this was called a breakthrough time bogu waxtu bogu mune mom demna be am man man bo xamne mom mo am mom lolu la taxawal te lu am la won mom reka ko fi def mom reka mu sa def lolu no i think i think that's a mistake to him it was his own breakthrough but so many people has they have claimed that they have the cure for hiv yes lolu mom halatam la won rek gis gisam la pour wone ne mom rek mom moy ki nga xamne moko fi musa def amna ñu bari ño xamne wéral nañ hiv aids 
who claim that you will link it to the HIV. Wow. <laughs> okay. And uh, he said he could cure HIV AIDS in three to ten days. What is that? Do you know what? When we were HIV AIDS, we were going to be able to do it for the first time. Yes, I could remember that. Wow, no, they fat telekunako. And on that basis, a, a call was made for people with the disease to come forth for treatment, correct? Tiko Lulu, Otena, Ninga Hamnungi and Febarbi, Nenyo Dugachi Fajambi, Dilan Fai. No, I think the message was if anyone is interested. Fogna Limuhon Moene. You can come. So it was on a voluntary basis. But in fact, that is not the case for the first batch. Why not? Lulu ne kuton mo amon pour minga hamnyon je kona nyu pour fagbi. I don't know much about the first batch because I was not part of the first batch. Who, I was not part of the people who made the selection. Uh, but let's take a small step backwards. At the time of this breakthrough pronouncement, the more digline mom amna fajmi, you are the minister of health. Time what to do we are in a con minister bull side to go we are here. Yes, I was. Wow, my connection. And you had superintendency over the implementation of the national HIV policy. Yes, I'm not going to start a big tower on chimber HIV. Ninko tope sirumi ya genunachi kwe chini nga hamne amani mahama chimbiri mumu. It was under the Ministry of Health because anything related to health is under the Ministry of Health. But I was not overseeing that section. Mo lo lo mungu mali mungu ne kontiro ligi kama minister visa yetu wergu yaramge. Na telepa lo hamne rak ajo na chumbiri fight chiro ligi kama minister visa yetu wa lugu wergu yaramge la. Wa nakjama no bobo mane kuma wandiji te bunta bobo. Uh, but it is obvious that as health minister, uh, you are responsible for all government interventions in that sector. Why, sir, none? Come, Kayane, come, Minister Busai to Mbir Virgu Yaram Sirumi. Come, Nak, Li Liga Labo Hamne, Sir Ronla Neka, Puru, Lepolo Hamne Mbir Fajla, Puru Mungache Am Kadu Walla Mungache Am Loho. That is true, but the president is my boss. No, Lady Gala, why not president? But one more, one summer boss. I think we would come to establish that and come to establish that in fact. For that, the lady what? Put our Lulu, Chicago. Followed his orders as your boss. Topanga Kadomi, come come, we won't send it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll move on. During this period, as at the time of the breakthrough announcement, uh, HIV AIDS was no longer a death sentence in Gambia. Do you agree to that? What to be more wah wahamine mom amna fight. What to bobo HIV? Nekuten nekuten birmo hamne kunjapa levi da yowah ne koko dal fanam da faji ya na fadi. Up to as we speak, conventional medicine has condemned all HIV AIDS patients to death. Benjamin, we may have higher units. Linga hamne mo di garabe doctori, mo mdakana linga hamne mo lor ke amedo me jangor HIV AIDS. Well, Dr. Mbo, the science. That is the science. I'm talking about science. Science has condemned that when you are HIV AIDS patient, the prognosis is very poor. The survival rate. It's just recently with the new antiretroviral drugs that the prognosis has been increased. Wow. And this is, but, but conventional medicine has long time condemned all HIV-AIDS patients to death. 
Bajaman lagi mahu hari ni ya usah. Ninga ham nanya barom ham ham cual lifat barom ham ham hararai. Wanen nanya ko am HIV AIDS dal mungkin terbilang cair loru. Wai hana leg binga ham nene kuma senen dijepo linyon nan yurikoh antiretroviral cilen gisne legi HIV AIDS dal bami janggorobi dolarari. And in 2007 there were there was already. Antiretroviral drugs in Gambia, correct? Depe 2007, antiretroviral garab gogo mungu wanchiri umi dunu. Yes, that is very true. But let me tell you, by in 2007, many patients they died of HIV AIDS. Walo lo mumde galade wa ma wahla nakne. Atum 2007, amna nyubari nyu amondo mi jangor HIV AIDS bi denchi nyaka sen bakan. Yes. Conventional medicine, conventional medicine has condemned. HIV AIDS patients to death long time ago. So to conventional medicine, there is no cure for HIV AIDS. Pur dal bosu kande kochi gara bitwa binga hamne mom lenyo jefo nyom linywa ne dal moine HIV AIDS kendo kofaj bimwir. But my point, Dr. Mo, sorry, and there is no medication that can eliminate the HIV. It's virus from the human system, according to conventional medicine. Yana kusunyi sukande kuchi garabi tubabi hi, amud ben garabo hamne di nadaha setaluwech linga hamne modi doa mejangoro HIV AIDS yara minute. Let me remind you, you don't only have conventional medicine. Why ma fatel la nagne garabi yu nagne doa nure garabi tubabi. You have also traditional medicine. Amne yi garabi faji nit kunyulta mit. But I will come to all that, Dr. Mbo. No problem. Uh, my point is, as at 2007, advancement in the treatment of HIV AIDS has so succeeded to the point that that HIV is not is no longer a death sentence as it used to be before the discovery of antiretroviral drugs. HIV fever be ninja ke wol ne kunja parek sa fan jekna wahtu boi wahtu bi ame grab yo yo oye ARVs wechi na mbirmi paski bunja ka bi sunko nit ame su ame nit ame fever be da yone fanam jekna wai grab yo yo bin fenye wechi na lulu muna dimbali nit ki mu am dunda beti kanam you don't agree with that? I strongly disagree. In 2007, so many patients, very few patients even dare to declare that they were HIV AIDS. In 2007, you are answering a completely different question. But you are answering a completely different question. My question is, with the advancement My question is, with the advancement in the science and the medicine, HIV AIDS was no longer a death sentence in 2007. In 2007, HIV AIDS was no longer a death sentence in 2007. The first way to make up the Hawaii be the February committee of fun Jenna movie to go February committee so you get grab you you didn't allow me to do fun good it was still a death sentence in 2007 mom dal bachi atom 2007 HIV and AIDS koko amdal danga nyaka sabaka is it a death sentence today why in that day she jaman oji ben tay and bam fenye bunye ka munu la me better death sentence la kum japa danga de I will not say so. Why? Because now you have different types of medications in the market. Both from the traditional sector and the conventional sector. Let's focus for now on the conventional. You're highly welcome. And uh, these medicines were not available in 2007? Amuyo ati 2007. When you talk of the medicines, there are these generations of medicines. New ones are coming every time. So we have very garab nak garabi dafai new yen new yen new jamano buti ne karat US mo new. And to understand how the antiretrovirals work. 
I think we will come to that. Maybe let's just focus on the impact of these new medicines on a person with HIV AIDS as of 2007. Let's focus on that for now. Later we will talk about how antiretrovirals work. Is the same ARVs, the ARVs you're talking about, the antiretrovirals, but the most important thing, their effectiveness depends on the way they act. Uh, so you know what antiretroviral uh, they, 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 are, they are in groups. My point, I Dr. Really their really effectiveness yeah. will depend on how they act on the uh, the T killer the T helper lymphocytes. We'll come to that. Maybe yes, one. we will come to that. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make is by two thousand seven there was hope, at least, for people living with HIV AIDS because there was medicine available that could prolong their lives and, and if used properly, could, ex could give them the possibility of living a healthy, normal life. Lima Do you agree with that? I grab in 2007, grab young hamne grab to Bablain. Why is it fair, Kenne? Kepako ham ne amna febarwi. Ngaijel grab yo namuare kom nanko wahe mulna am johna nini yakarne dinan muna am fanbu guda bo hamle at least dinan dembe ega mahama bo hamle dinan muna defsen sola topro sen sola defsen lini kom nanguare feka e bin tela de kom ni bunja kabi nimfene won. I think hope has been there from day one since Allah created man because it's clearly stated that there is a cure for any disease. So is the time they will discover what and when. Then why would you say it was a death sentence before 2007? I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said, according to conventional medicine, when you get HIV AIDS, the prognosis very poor. Man, uh, according to tra a conventional medicine, not traditional medicine. And you, and you don't believe that. Uh, uh, you don't believe that? Oh, lulu, lulu. For me? Uh -huh. Personally? Uh -huh. No. All right. Uh, perhaps maybe that inf informed your future actions. But I'm born, I'm born Muslim from day one. I had to believe that there, there must be a cure because it's clearly stated in my faith. Bala madon neka doctor sa gomo nani febar bu neka abna fai na telulu bu fenyal nengko chisma wali. You can say that maybe I don't know the cure, but to say that there is no cure. Munga wah ne hitnya muna am how malan mo kuiral why pur wah ne amu darab bu kuiral. You see, Doctor Mo, we can have a lot of debates in semantics. Uh, and, and that would be absolutely unnecessary. It would be boring and a waste of our time. Intellectually and academically, it may be interesting, but it does not advance the purpose of the commission. Uh, clearly, if we don't know it, it is as good as it doesn't exist for us. Isn't it? <laughs> te lolu da fagna yagal mbir mi way nak eh lima wax ni moy eh febar bi febar la bo xamne comme niñ ko waxe legi legi ni eh nimo demé ni nit ñi eh sen gom gom ak sen xalaat 
dañu outé ci mbir mi ak garab yi nga xamné ñoo feñ motax ñu jox na nit ñi yakar no the point i last made was perhaps maybe i spoke a lot i should have sort in my my statement the point i want to make is if we do not know the cure the cure does not exist for us would you agree with that ci fekke ne xamuñ la lay fajj bi pour wéral ko kon nak ñun mën nañu wax ne amuñ liko wéral ci waxtu bi you can always say i don't know but not others don't know jamono bu ci nek day mën nga wax ne man day xawma way mën nga wax ne kenen xam yes there is no cure mën nga garabi tuba traditional medicine does not have that garabi tuba day mën na wax ne waaw amu dara lu mëna wéral doomi jangoro aids waye nak garabi nit ko ñul mo mën na taxaw momit ne waaw man gis na lu ko wéral but the issue here is not that the issue is that there is no known cure for the mbir du lolu fu mu nek ni ñeen ka mbir mi moy ama bu ñu lo xamne moy fajj be wéral hiv aids amu respect i strongly disagree Uh, we would come to all that i think you would have a chance to explain why you think that there was a cure uh, in traditional medicine and why you think that what jaya jami offered was a cure we would get into all that Uh, amut faj wa ak li tax nga gum ne gara bi nit ku ñul ñoo mu na am ñu am faj be liggey yaaya jamme be bang ci duga lu tax nga gum ne be tay amna lo xamne dina ko mëna faj lolu yeb dinañ ci ñew ci kanam afsa yaaya jamme made his declaration bi yaaya jamme joxe ndigle bi did you eventually have anything to do with the program ndax amone nga dara lo xamne def nga ko ci mbiri programme bi i was the director general man ma ne kon director general ma jité won mbiri fajj bi my main role in that treatment program suma taxaway mom ci wali fajj bobu yaay jamme don def was to help him clinically be monitoring the patients moy dal pour ma dimbele ko ci wali fajj ñi nga xamne non lay topé di set ñi ñi feba and what does that entail lolu ligey bobu lan la la na nekkon ci bir ligey bi that is the well being of the patients lolu moy dal set yokute ki nga xamne mo fe ban and as a clinical part mm-hmm. the clinical part of medicine and uh, what would you normally do in discharge of those functions lan ak lan nga don di def pour doxal sa ligey yoyu la na ci nekka be taking complaints from them ma deglu len set seni tawat monitoring whether they have any symptoms di set ndax amne ngeen mandarga or any abnormalities wala lo xamne mu ng len dal te waru lena dal report to the president ko defé ma dem xamal ko president bi and advise him ndigal ko whether the patient should be referred or not ndax ke ku febar dañ ko wara toxal wala deet referred to where to normally depending on where we are whether we are in the Congo area or we are in Fonyi mo ne ko fuñ ko toxal bu booba patients are normally referred to Buyam doctor mo ne ko da fa dess nak ban bor la ci fo bi faju nek greater banjul area so ne ke bori banjul most of the time we refer the patients to royal victoria kin hospital o payep dañ la yobbu ci l'hopital bu ba ci banjul su fekke ne amna dara lo xamne dal na borom and uh, Uh, how was this treatment the hiv treatment uh, how was this virus eliminated uh, how were these patients cured by jami let's start your your explanation from when you joined the program with the first batch eh legi pour mbir fajj ni ni naka la fajje ni ni naka la gene doomi jangoro bi ci yarami ñi nga xamne dañ fébar nañ ko doore yow waxtu bi nga duggé ci mbiri fajj ni may occasions we are given to the patients amon na ay garab yo xamne mom lañ doon jox ñi fajju what kind of medication yan façon garab up to now i cannot tell you the type of medications the president was using ben fi ma tollu ni day mënu ma la wax yan façon garab la president bi doon def according to him according to him why mom ci cadeau 
he told me initially that he was using about seven different medications. Later, he told me that he was using more than 20 different types of medications. That included the. Well, that's your impression, Dr. Mbou. No, no, you, that is no. true. That is no, true. No, 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 no,